Wonder if news gets you copyrighted. Copyright infringement. We know that's a problem. Anyways, look at this mess. I'll come back to that. So, I've been thinking about a lot of things. Messes, yards, junk, gardens, homesteading, tractors, mowers, side hustles, side jobs. What makes me happy, what doesn't. Successful, not successful. YouTube sucks. It doesn't suck. I suck at YouTube. Anyways, I actually forgot to show a video of everything in the garden. But I have since kind of let it go and get mowed over. It's okay. More successful this year than the last couple. I've got to get these tomatoes up before they're gone. I need to get some stuff picked up and out of here. I think the sunflowers are about done. But see, this right here is why I'm not ready to take them down. Those little guys right there are why I do sunflowers. I ended up uh, just laying all my corn down. It all pretty much rotted from the fit. From like the inside out, I'm assuming due to the ridiculously high moisture content. Um, I had good spacing this year. I did almost two foot between rolls or rows. All these Roma tomatoes are ready. But the loofah has turned into an absolute disaster. And I did not expect it to grow as ridiculously long and as much as it has. And I don't even see any loofahs on here. I mean, I guess each one of these is going to be a loofah. A loofah, by the way, is like a sponge. Natural. But it's just too much plant. It has taken over everything. But anyways, back to what I was talking about. You watch what I consider to be a successful YouTube. Um, watch Wes work. What is the other one I'm watching right now? Triple D. Uh, dig something DIY. I'm liking his stuff. Uh, who else? Several people like that that do the same kind of stuff I do and just piddle. But you know what they all have in common? They have a shop. I don't really have a shop, so I'm screwed on that outlook. But you know what else they have in common? Look how clean their areas are. Yeah, they have some piled up stuff and things like that going on. But I mean, the shops are clean. Around the shops are clean. There's not junk piled up everywhere. You know, if I did an aerial of this place, I'd be embarrassed. You know, even down to things like the grass that's in the driveway, it irritates me. Now, I did move some of this gravel around because I kind of got a little turnaround going right there. And a couple other little things like that going on and I need another load of gravel. But I spent this entire weekend picking up all my crap. I've got this pile of tires that needs to go. I've got a little bit of stuff behind the shop. I've got, you know, a trailer... I got two trailers. I've got this trailer and a scrap trailer that's full of scrap metal. The scrap trailer I like is just a little bit too small. This is a big old heavy son of a gun here, but it needs to have all the suspension work. And I'm thinking there's no way I can afford a 20 foot equipment trailer, especially something like this. I mean, this is what's well, the seven twenty one thousand pounds worth of capacity here, and it's it's hauled more than that. This thing was hand made back in like the 70s or 80s ridiculously heavy i beam and so forth on it but i didn't actually notice it until i got home the suspension is screwed up 
and it might be it, it was a dual axle they added the dovetail or it was a dual axle they added the dovetail and then added the third axle later but the third axle is not mounted right it doesn't have these little torsion blocks and stuff let's see if it will show the uh, it's not showing it there a lot of slop in the suspension deck looks rough but it is actually solid for what's there. It was actually solid enough that I decided to keep it and just patch in some other stuff. And that's actually what I'm going to do back here as well. Because like I say, it works great. I mean, it's solid. I've driven all kinds of stuff on here. But I think, at least from a financial perspective... I'm going to have to buy junk and fix it up, such as this. You know, it's usable the way that it is. It just needs a lot of work. Nah, maybe not even a lot of work. You know, that truck, that's a pretty nice truck I've got. And it was all wrecked in the front end and bed rot rotted out. and. No AC and no whatever else was wrong with it. Now I've got a really nice service truck that everybody tries to buy. You know, I started to kind of pick up in here and try to do some organizing and cleaning. I've got a lot of just crap. I just I feel like I just need to throw away and get rid of. But it is nice being able to have everything inside. Really, I need like a run to or some other kind of shed where I can, you know, park like this in because this this is a bear to get in here. It's wider than my door, and I've got I actually got to take the door off the hinges. It fits through the door opening, but won't completely go in because the door won't open all the way. You know, I get jealous of people that have stuff like air compressors and pressure washers. Bit by bit. You just build up on it. I've still got all this junk to get rid of. And this right here. This little chicken tractor type deal. I tell you, I like it. But I need to put it on some sort of skid or, sl or sleds so I can tow it around. I think I would like that better. And that's part of my problem, too. I mean, I moved this building. That's how I tore up the doors, caught it with a daggone bulldozer. But I can't decide where I want anything. And I'm limited to my room. You know, all that is hill in the front yard. Big front yard. It's just not spectacular as far as storage or buildings or anything like that. The backyard is really nice. But I want to keep it for garden. Now, if I look at it, really the garden can go up front. Or at least some of it. So theoretically, I could turn this whole back portion into some sort of run-in shed or something like that. I don't know. I just want to get more organized. More... I don't know, something. You know, I could stop the garden here and put a run-in shed across here. Hmm. This well screws me, but I think it's full. So I may actually put a pipe down in there and push all this in and level all this. And get rid of this and but still keep my well pipe down so I can try to suck the water if I ever need it. That shed was a freebie like eight years ago, although it has not fared well in the last bit of storms. And you know, this is what I'm trying to get away from just piling crap up. So I think what I'm gonna do is clean this out. Throw away 80% of what's in there. 
tear off this little lean to and I may move this shed to the back of the back corner of the property and use it for like a garden shed what it's made to do put all the garden tools in there the rototiller uh, wheelbarrow you know just stuff like that that isn't massive now I got a daggon tree growing in there I may want to keep that that looks like a locust tree they make good fence posts. I know I've got some wood with nails and stuff in there I need to dig out. You know, just crap like this that just junks up the whole yard. And, you know, I've got a pretty, pretty layout. I mean, I could even put the, a garden shed over here to the left of my truck. This area over here will be the orchard. And there's room to the left of the truck against the fence that will prevent it from hitting the tree. Hmm. That's actually a thought. I don't know. I appreciate you guys just walking around with me. No real, you know, plot line, I guess you would say. I don't think my videos are, what is the word I'm looking for? Fluid enough? I just don't flow. I do a lot of messing around in my own head. Not much talking or too much talking or keeping the talking and the silence equal. You know, it's either I'm talking nonstop or I'm not talking at all. Yeah, well, like I say, that's what I got going on. Just in the process of trying to clean crap up. Well, you guys be good and be safe, and we'll catch you next time.